Hi everyone. I thought I'd walk you through this really interesting little project I've recently done. So I'm jumping straight in with using my ink tents blocks and I am just going to make some marks on this plain calico kind of background and I'm thinking of a bird in a tree but really I'm just trying to create some colors some ideas of where I want to go with it see how lovely it is when you add water I'm just drawing on it dry and you add water and it does this lovely little watercolor effect and it's then permanent on fabric see I'm adding in some delicious blue now and some background and it's really so that um, there is something behind that white space when I'm doing the felting I'm going to be doing soon but also it gives me um, it's like a draft ready for me to play with now it may not look like much to start with but that's okay this is just a background so to speak and um, and it really is fun to sort of play and imagine with the pencils and figure out where I want to go but I can change my mind it's really it's really just a starting point so once it's done I take it off to let it dry come back and now I'm going to add in some lovely roving and needle felted into into the uh, fabric so you can see I've got my felting needle here and very sparsely putting down some roving and just stabbing into we have um, foam behind a foam block and just that little stabbing motion with the needle going in and out uses the little barbs on the needle forces that wool through to the other side and just melds it with the fabric but it's not permanent if I decide I don't really like that there I can lift it up and I can put it somewhere else or change things around it's a great medium for experimenting with and I'm adding in some different bits here that are actual from um, yarn as you can see it's a woolen yarn I pull bits apart this one here is actually a silk roving a silk top and it adds a luscious um, gloss to some of the colors and the thing is that when you're needle felting you push the needle in and out in the same direction don't twist it as you bring it out or it could easily snap here I'm adding in some more of that lovely um, silk top this time in a darker blue and just the crown of the head and reaching down into that wing that we've marked there just creating that shadow in front of that wing area here we go adding some more lovely silk I've added a dark blue color there I've gotten some green I'm adding down here but it's really just a matter of laying um, very fine layers over top of each other and letting those colors blend and here I'm going to try and add a little bit more color into that um, tree branch behind him get some darker colors in of the rusty red and bring in some some more brown goldy colors as well but it's gradual you know it's uh, it'll happen in time and now I've got the some very pale gray I'm just wanting to add something into that sky I will add some leaves too can't um, deny I love that that silk so I've also thought well with that gray in the sky I'm liking it but it's a bit patchy I'm wanting to add a little bit of blue I will keep working on that but in the meantime I've grabbed some plain black wool and I have you know how it's sort of you can separate it out into strands well that's what I'm doing I'm just using that to quickly put in some little legs and claws this seems to be the simplest way to do it if I don't like it uh, you know I move it later but it's just to get an idea in there and now I'm going to do the same thing I'm not going to split it I'm just going to use it and use the needle here to direct it around that eye shape just to really have it stand out 
Yeah, that's a really good start to that eye. And here I'm twisting some white roving very finely and then I'm using it to go around that eye so it really stands out. And then a little, little tiny little ball of white in the centre gives him some personality. So going on now with the background and I'll switch between. I'll, I'll continually be adding more layers to different areas but just sort of deciding where do I want that branch, do I like it here and a nice sort of a, a goldy tinge helps out as well. It's it's great thing to play with the colours and to see where you end up with it. Yeah, a bit of gold. I'll add in a bit of shadow later. But that gold gives me a nice background, I think, for that for that um, branch. So still working on the branch and then what am I going to do now? I've decided I don't like that leg there. I want him a little bit closer. And that's just how easy it is to lift something up and move it. More of that silk, the silk tops going down. Just easy, so beautiful with those lusters in there. And third, I'm wanting him to be more colourful. So I'm starting with a nice rusty orange. I'm adding in some of this lovely dark blue, which I like to use. It's like almost a navy, and I like to use it for shadows and shading. You can always put colours on top of it if it's too dark, but it's a really good shadow colour to start with. Right, I'm starting to look yeah, it's starting to look more like a, a whole picture now and it's just a matter now of getting my colors down a little bit more a bit more blue in the sky some of that fabric will stay um, that you just see the fabric and to help that blend in I'll pop some some white in there as well the cloud kind of color will help blend some of the edges of that blue to make it um, less scrappy and more more like a whole a whole color little bits more blue as I'm looking at it I'm thinking that my bird seems to be appearing like it's I don't know, there's something wrong. It's, he's, he's, what's he standing on? Etc. You might be able to see that I've started to change a few things, and that's okay. See, I've turned this leaf here around. It was facing the other way. And I've added in a bit more of this rusty brown. And mainly just white I've added some white in there to that sky around the blue just to help it meld in to the background I want it to all look and I also want the bird to I'm um, sorry stand out so might need to add a little a little something to it to make it stand out I've added a dark outline there because I want him to stand out against the background and I think that works but in the same way, I want to put something at the top there of him. But I think we're getting close. It's now just finishing touches. So we're having a closer look again now. And I think I probably want a little bit more background in. And um, still not happy with the fact that he looks like he's standing in the middle of nowhere. But some parts I am very happy with. The bird is really coming together nicely. As you can see, I can't stop fiddling. So I've added some yellow, some nice orange and yellow into the bird. I figure that makes him stand out a little bit more from, from the background. And I also added in a little branch there for him to 
stand on. So just finishing just a little bit more now, but I'm pretty well at the end of the needle felting stage. I might add in a few little stitches here and there if I feel like it needs it at the end, but I'll work that out as I get there. But here's that little branch. I'm really trying to make it show up. And I am so happy with the way that's all melding together. It really is. It looks like a pastel painting. That's how I, how I really um, see this. And I do a lot of pastel painting. And this is doing it in wool. Okay, so I've put my felting needle down for a little while. Pulled it off the felt. I'm just having a quick look at, at some threads. I thought, I'm not going to do very much. It doesn't really need anything much. But look at these lustrous silk threads. A little bit of that on the bird would be gorgeous. So I'm going to start there and see if I want to do anything else. We'll just see where we end up. So I'm just going to use a single strand because it really does show up quite well with that shine. I'll start with that and just see. Threaded my needle. I'm going to add a knot at the end. And, like I say, I'm going to figure this out as we go, but perhaps, perhaps a little bit here would be nice. I'm going to start with just trying to put in some little, little tiny bits of single seed stitches. Just so that in different lights it will show up and hopefully little shiny feathers little iridescent feathers that's that's what I'm trying to go for who knows whether it will work or not I'm sort of at the moment I'm following the line of his head in in the directions I'm going So there we go. Maybe a few patches of that. I've got a little bit of highlight on that on that head now. Now what else could I do? Alright, well I might add in a little bit of I do like a French knot. I'm gonna try that. don't like anything I'll just take it out it doesn't worry me in the least now with this is what I call my messy French knot it's where I don't don't much care whether it um, does a perfect one or not I just like that it does these little loops and they are a different shape let me see if I can do a proper one for you round a needle three or four times and back in close to where you started pulling it tight if you don't pull it tight you end up with my messy one but see how I pulled the thread there and now when it goes through it'll do a perfect little French knot and I quite like both I like the I like the pretty um, perfect ones and I like the messy ones so I quite often just do a combination Adds a little something and so that's what I'm going to do just a little bit of you know maybe maybe these ordinary seed stitches or long stitches or whatever I feel maybe a little bit of gold in that wing just a few things to see just to really set it off 
because I think that's made a massive difference. Okay. That works as well, doing a little running stitch in some places, especially if I'm trying to say that he's got feathers, you know, that would work. Maybe a few little French knots here on the tail, a little cluster here and there is quite Quite nice for textural interest. Right then, let's have a little look here. I am just picking a few little bits out of the sky. Sometimes I've just done a little bit of seed stitch or, or an out, a vague outline of a leaf. Or there's a bit more seed stitching here just to... I don't know sometimes I don't know but really it's sort of tacking it down it's um, you know perhaps it's the shadowy leaves of trees in the background so I'm just right now I just decided I like this curly shape here and in the sky of the cloud so I'm going to keep it I'm gonna just um, you know accentuate it a little bit but just going around the outside the running stitch. So I've done this in a few places in the sky. And I could also do it in the center if I wanted. It's like a wave shape. If I decided I wanted that back to be uh, pushed to the back, I could do a little bit of seed stitch like this helps push it back now you're not getting that because the light's too bright is that too much or not enough isn't it well, we're going to try that I don't think you're going to get much of that so we'll just continue on I'll do a little bit here and there I've done a few lines across like that Sometimes I tease a bit of the felt into the corner. Down here it looks a little bit patchy. I might do a little bit of seed stitch just to help blend those white patches into the into the blue and meld it a little bit. Or I could use the white and meld it the opposite way. But this is what I'm after at the moment. This is what I have loaded the blue on my needle so that will do me I think um hmm. okay well my threads just come out my needle but I think you're seeing now those shiny threads and how luscious they are and this is the kind of thing that I could just keep going forever on but at some stage I'll stop I mean it might be that our picture is only this big. I think I have a, hang on, in fact that's something we should look at and just see what we want in our picture. And that really frames it beautifully. Oh. Yeah, so that sort of tells you, oh yeah, don't waste so much time doing working on that bit, you're not going to see it or what have you. Um, do I want those leaves in the bottom? Perhaps that's a better picture. So it's always fun to pick that out and know um, what you're going to want. But this is the kind of thing you can play with. You just keep playing. And I'll add a little bit of seed stitch, a little bit of running stitch, a little bit of um, French knots. And that, that'll be pretty well it. But I think at the moment I'll, I'll leave it and I'll get this out to you so that you can have a look. Maybe I'll revisit it some other time, but it's enough for now to, I think, show the beauty of 
just combining a few different crafts you know I started with painting this to give me an idea where I wanted to go and then I used little tiny bits of wool and silk roving and silk tops I mean and a tiny bit of stitching but it really does look quite um, quite good I think so I am leaving it there and I hope you have enjoyed watching along with me as I've tried these few different techniques uh, if you have don't forget to press uh, like and subscribe to my channel and you can find me on any of the links below and really thank you for watching.